friends welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by or welcome if you are new here uh, today we're thrifting in Salvation Army two different stores right away I noticed this telephone bench uh, I love a good telephone bench I used to have one that I like made over but then I ended up selling it I don't feel like we have a space in our home now for one but my grandma had one when I was growing up so they give me like all the feels that one wasn't exactly the style that I like but it still just makes me feel nostalgic I actually heard on the news recently that a lot of Phone companies were going to like disconnect landlines and just have that not be a thing anymore, which I don't know, I find that weird. I live in a rural area, so sometimes we lose power for days at a time if it's storming or something. So I don't know, I feel like we don't actually have a landline, but I feel like for a lot of people, they would want to have one for that reason. And especially for like elderly people who don't maybe don't have cell phones um, so I don't think that it will happen where I live because there's a lot of rural areas so it wouldn't be very practical for them to do that but I could I could I guess I kind of understand why probably not that many people have one anymore I thought this teapot was so uh, unique and cute. I don't think I've seen anything quite like that before. And then I spotted these, um, these came in boxes of tea in the 90s in Canada. It's like red rose tea. And uh, there's a couple of different sets. And one of the sets, I think it was called Inventions of the 20th Century, um, but I, I kind of want to collect them all and they had a bunch of them there but I didn't know if I already had some at home and I was like debating on it and I think I just forgot about them and never went back but one of them is this little TV that is there they just have a lot of cute ones and I kind of regret not um, figuring that out but I think I just forgot about it <laughs> that's one of the bad things about like filming thrifting <laughs> and then you see things that you maybe we're thinking about getting but then you forgot about them because you thought oh, i'll come back after i'm done filming um but sometimes i just get distracted by other things and then i forget um but another one of the sets i think was like called like the toy chest or something and it was a bunch of different toys um they did this way back in like the 60s i think too with different figurines and i have a bunch of them that belong to my grandparents and then my parents tried to fill out the set a bit more um, and so I'm hoping that maybe I can find like, the missing ones that I need for that eventually. Over in the electronics, I saw this big thing, the Motorola thing, and I was trying, we were trying to figure out if it was a DVD player or if it was like a really old cable box or satellite kind of box from probably early days because it's so big. And then right next to it, I noticed that they had this swivel stand for the old style computer monitors, which I still just really, really want an old style computer so bad. And then I spotted this blow dryer and my mom had the exact same one in the 80s and 90s. Uh, so it's such a weird feeling sometimes when you see something that haven't seen in decades but as soon as you see it it's so recognizable it's like that was smells too but yeah you know, it was just funny so like I don't know I just like hadn't seen or thought about it in a long time but as soon as I saw it instantly I like, remember just getting ready with that I 
spotted this turquoise Melmac set of dishes, which I was debating on whether or not I should buy it to resell, but ultimately I decided not to, but I did have quite a few pieces there, so I'm questioning my decision, <laughs> but I don't know. It is a nice color too, it's probably a color that people would, would be desirable to people. I used to have a set in like a Harvest Gold and it took forever to sell, and so I was like, okay, I'm not going to try to sell this stuff anymore, but really it was probably mainly the color. This stuff reminds me of camping when I was a kid because my grandparents had a set of it and we would go camping um, every summer together with like my mom and other family members. It was so much fun. really liked these glasses but honestly I'm in the middle of doing a big kitchen declutter and I am really struggling with like the amount of glasses and mugs that I have I don't know why it's so hard but a lot of the ones I have are vintage so it's like hard to get rid of them so I definitely left those behind because I was like you have a whole bunch at home that you still haven't dealt with yet so but I did really like them And then I spotted the Betty Crocker recipe box. This thing has been here forever. It's empty, which is probably why it hasn't sold, but I feel like this has probably been here for a year or almost a year at least. I'm sure some of you remember me showing it a bunch of times. Um, I don't think it's very expensive, but I already have one in green. And then I spotted this Sunbeam food processor that has the spice of life pattern on it. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with it, but I really don't have room for another appliance on the counter, which I'd want to put it on the counter to keep it out. Um, but I just don't have room and I already have a food processor, so it's not like it's an appliance I need, but I did really like it. That's the first time I've seen that before. We did look it up to see if it was worth um, buying to resell, but the value wasn't there. I think they wanted $20 for it, so it was kind of, I think John said if it would have been 10, he probably would have got it, but we did, however, find another vintage appliance in here that we did buy to resell. I 
I'm not sure the situation that would require apple-shaped ice, but if you ever need, need apple-shaped ice, there is a product for that. Also notice that this mixer um, this was here for a while now too even the bowls are made of plastic so I can't imagine that it would be very durable maker and then I spotted this vintage coffee maker which I love this so much if I didn't already have one I probably would have wanted to get this for ourselves but um, I so I was looking at it I was like oh this is so cool it actually um, mounts underneath your like cupboard to save space because I couldn't understand it was called a space saver I was like how does this save space it's huge that's why so i pulled john over just to look at it and then he was like hey i should actually look that up that might be worth reselling and apparently they sell for uh, a decent amount online so we did end up picking it up i think it was ten dollars but we had um they have like this rewards program at the salvation army we go to where for every ten dollars you spend you get a stamp and then when you get ten you get ten dollars off so we actually were able to redeem ten dollars so essentially we got it for free figurines so much and I was thinking about getting them but I just didn't have anywhere to put them so I left them behind a lot of times people will always say like I can't believe you didn't get that or how come you didn't get that when I say that I like something um it's because I don't like a lot of stuff in my house and so I'm definitely not in the um like maximalist kind of way of life like a lot of vintage lovers are which is totally fine I think you should you know live how you want to live but I don't like a lot of stuff it stresses me out and so I like to just have a little bit I like to know like I don't know so when I'm in a store and I do see something I like I will think about where I'm going to put it at home and if I can't think about where I would put it at home then I don't buy it basically that's kind of how I keep it from overwhelming my life but that little teapot chalkware that I just picked up was only three dollars and I do regret not getting that I that was another one of those things I was thinking oh I'll just come back to that later I do have like a couple you guys might remember of uh their fruit chalkware in my kitchen and there is enough room that I could have hung one more and I think that the teapot would have went with my kitchen but Again, I, um, it is what it is. <laughs> this lamp, however, I thought was beautiful and I really, really wanted it. But again, I thought about where I would put it. I didn't have anywhere to put it, so I left it there, but I did think it was really pretty. This is definitely um, my aesthetic. The only time I will get something that I don't necessarily have a place for is if it's like a really, really amazing piece that I think I'll never come across this again in my lifetime. 
and or I think if I don't use it that I could easily sell it and like make a profit from it so sometimes I'll do that but for the most part I'm I'm really able to just like leave things behind even if I love them which I'm actually really grateful for because if I bought everything I loved my house would be completely filled so insane this whole entire section used to be filled with records it was probably at least three or four shelves with records and now it's down to that little tiny bit and they used to have a lot more um, cassettes and CDs as well but it's really dwindling I think I've probably shared that before but we had that exact same sign in my like elementary school classroom <laughs> so every time I see it it brings back all the nostalgia from that era I love this uh, pattern. I have, I think it's Fire King. I have quite a few pieces already and that one was pretty grungy looking. So I left it there. I think it might be called Fire Wick, Candle Wick. Yeah, Candle Wick, I think. Saw this cute pop but i was not expecting the bottom to look that crazy it's like wow that has been burnt several times i think <laughs> Thank you. 
thought I saw these really pretty stoneware plates. You don't often see pink in them, or I think there was another time I saw some with blue coloring in them, but mostly it's like orange, brown, yellow. But I thought they were pretty. I don't think I've seen that pattern before. This looks homemade, but I thought the sign was really funny. <laughs> it made me laugh. This glass that looked really interesting and then I noticed there was a few more and I was thinking to myself this, these patterns remind me of like Ed Hardy not actually thinking that they would be but it turns out that they were Ed Hardy glasses so I thought I would share that with John in case he thought they were worth picking up so he we did actually buy them and I think they're for sale on his eBay store um, but just like random, kind of unique, especially for Salvation Army. I wouldn't expect to find something like that in there, but... I thought these glasses were really pretty too, but I definitely did not- I definitely do not need any more glasses. Like, I, w I have more than I actually need now, but it's hard to let some of them go. And we can't have a thrifting video without spotting the geese, so I've been- a lot of times I'll, when I'm out thrifting I'll share photos on Instagram like while I'm thrifting, so I stopped to take a picture of those to share. And then I thought this was really cute. Probably not vintage, but cute. this Salvation Army because it's a lot bigger so it has room for furniture so sometimes we see a lot of cool vintage pieces today they had a million of these chairs this must have been from like a banquet hall or maybe like a church or something like a church hall I don't know but there was a million of them in there and then I noticed that they've also spelled couch wrong again and spelled it as coach. Some of you might remember like a few months ago, I think, we saw a couch that was spelled coach. Um, John and I just, we have like this inside joke of we always talk about like the, the ways that people misspell words very commonly, but they do it like online, like on Facebook Marketplace. So we just, we always talk about it. So I don't know, I'd, I had to like share that and then tell him like oh did you notice there's a coach for sale over there it's not as bad like in person when you're trying to sell something but when you're trying to sell something online and you've misspelled the word like it's gonna be really hard for you to be found in search results when people are spelling the correct thing so anyway it's like a just a reselling joke i guess between us but 
I think they had a lot of these dressers here the last time I was here, so I didn't really see anything that was spectacular, but we've definitely seen some very cool pieces in this store before. So I actually ended up only getting one thing from the two stores, and it was this VHS, this movie. My friends and I used to watch this movie all the time in like junior high, like seventh and eighth grade. And I remember like the first time we watched it, like I remember going to the video store and um, renting it and it just gave me a bunch of nostalgia for that time. So it's an okay movie. Um, I wouldn't say it's like the best, but it takes place in the fifties, I think. It's been a long time since I watched it. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. There'll be another thrift with me on Sunday. Thank you.